You know, Reverend uh, Timothy Fleming uh, Sr., I watched him ever since I was real little, uh, back in 95, I believe. 95, yeah. He's one of my all-time favorite uh, pastors, my all-time favorite preachers, uh, because he preaches the truth. He's always front with everybody, and he's never been fake at all. He's always been the same person ever since he started young in the ministry. And I don't think I've ever heard anything bad, like so much as getting a parking ticket bad from him. But it just shows how good God is and that there's ministers out there that are still great in the world, let alone African-American ministers that are still great in the world. I remember, like I said, when I was real little, uh, growing up watching him, he was 41, uh, 44, something like that, in his 40s, I know, early 40s. And now, to see him at 69, still preaching the gospel, still preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ at Mount uh, Carmel Baptist Church in Georgia, man, that man still got it going on. And he's still doing great things in the world. He, like I said, he preached all over the world. And he is a living testimony that if you do God's will, that God will bless you and reward you. My man, Timothy Fleming, is just wonderful. And if there's ever a Hall of Famer for ministers and pastors, you gotta put Timothy Fleming Sr. in the Hall of Fame. They put, they have him so underrated as a minister and a preacher. I guess because where he's not hardly on TV that much. But even behind the scenes man he's still great that's just what makes him so wonderful and like i said he's one of my all-time favorite preachers and pastors and he'll always be recognized as one of the most realest and truest pastors and preachers out there in the world